Good morning. How is everyone today? Welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. I'm Patty, and today we are doing a family favorite peanut butter cookies with a peanut butter filling, peanut butter sandwich cookies. Um, my daughter is coming over today, and she's a peanut butter lover, as is my little sous chef Nova. So this is a treat for her too. Um, I hope you are having a wonderful day. It is going to pour again tomorrow. So my husband will be doing the lawn today. So when he comes in today, he's gonna to have a treat too. So what we are going to start with, I am going to put a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder into three cups of flour. Oh, want to get it all in there. There we go. Hope you all had a good evening last night. It's been really hot. It came on pretty quickly here in North Carolina. It's been raining so much lately. Okay, so we have a cup of butter. Oops. Going in. And two cups of peanut butter. Let me get it all in there. I know it's a lot of peanut butter and there'll be a lot going into the filling, but I have to make enough cookies for everybody. So my daughter will be taking some home and we need to have enough to keep around here. Okay, here we go. So we're going to cream this together Now I'm gonna be moving this camera around so you can see. Oops. I have a new light thing. So here we go. Okay. So now we are adding four eggs. One. and two teaspoons of vanilla which I forgot to get so hang on okay I also added two cups of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar. And I'm adding my flour mixture and don't over mix. We don't want tough cookies. Just till it's combined. Okay, now we're gonna go over and roll out these cookies. See you at the cookie sheets. Now, we like decent sized cookies, so I'm using a two tablespoon cookie scoop. So what I do is I scoop it up, roll it into a ball, put it down. Now, I make sure to dip my fork in sugar Cross hatch it so it doesn't stick. Just like that, every single one. I'm gonna do the whole sheet, show it to you. These are gonna go into the oven for between 13 and 14 minutes, and we'll be back when they're done. Okay, so if you want smaller cookies, if you want smaller cookies, you can use a one tablespoon scoop. We like larger cookies in this household. So I'm bringing this closer. Um, these are gonna go in the oven for about 13, 14 minutes, probably 13. My oven tends to run a little hot. Um, if you're going to use a one tablespoon scoop to make your balls, I would go 11 minutes. 
um, I will show you these when they're done. Keep in mind, these are sandwich cookies. So you will use two cookies for each one. So these are going, this two trays will make 12 cookies. Um, and I have more to go here. So let's see when they're done and then we will make the filling. See you in a bit. Okay. So I'm ready to mix up the filling and I'm just going to tell you what I'm putting in it right now because you really don't want to sit here and watch me whip it up. And then when I'm done, I'm going to bring you over and we're going to fill those cookies up and I'll show you the finished cookies. They are large because that's how my customers love them, how my family love them, and I hope how you'll love them. So it is two, oh, I'm going to read it off. It is two and a half cups of peanut butter, one and a half sticks of butter. It is three and a half cups of confectioner sugar. Um, it is, let me see, three quarters of a cup of cream, uh, about a tablespoon of vanilla. Now I buy my vanilla in bulk. I use the vanilla bean paste, that's my preference. You can use regular vanilla. A pinch of salt, you know, use whatever you like. I beat the peanut butter and butter together first. Then I add the confectioner sugar and then whip in the cream a little at a time till I get the consistency I like for two or three minutes till it's nice and creamy and then we'll go over and mix it into the cookies. This is so yummy. So we'll see you in about five minutes. Okay, here we go. So I will tell you, if these cookies last more than two days in your house and they don't in my house, then I would refrigerate them. But you can keep them at room temperature for that amount of time. Here we go. Check that out. Oh my God, these are so good. They are soft and chewy and just delicious. Kids love them, adults love them, and you will be the most popular person in your house, in your neighborhood, in your office. These were a very popular item when I was catering in New York for parties, and not just kids' parties, I might add. The adults love them just as much. I'll be back when I'm done with this tray, and I would suggest you make these. I'll be back in a little bit. Bonichibo, Bonamichi. These cookies will be the most popular thing in your house. Enjoy and share them with your loved ones. Yum.